Okay, today on this episode, we're back at the catio, and what we're doing is going to fix the out of alignment or out of plumbness that the existing patio cover was in. So we were literally trying to figure out how to set our 4x4 posts and everything that was going to be in line on one of the sidewalls, and we noticed that the patio cover roof is like three and a half, five inches out of squareness. So what we're going to be showing you is we're going to be installing um, a piece of wood flat. We're going to be reusing that Craig jig again to lock everything into the existing patio cover. We're also going to be putting some peel and stick bitumen roofing uh, paper down and we're going to be redoing the roof so we can fur it out about three and a half to four inches so when we line our posts down this wall and get our backing in when we do our screen material that it's all covered by the roof and we don't have a problem with the, it sticking past the roof and then getting water damage to it. Instead of listening to me talk about it, why don't we go and take a look at our progress on the catio. Okay, one of the things that we noticed over this patio cover, I think I mentioned before, is that when they built this rafter here, they did not make it square and plumb to the house. If you look and see, it's supposed to be at that groove way in the back there where they got that inch and a half cut out. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a two by four flat and we're going to Craig jig it with our pocket holes into this existing fascia board and right now what we're doing is we're taking all the nails out of the edge metal so we can actually take this piece of edge metal completely off we will then from there slide our new piece of board in with some bitumen tar paper let me show you that so this is um, roofing paper it's a waterproofer and when we undo this it's Forta flash it's got some sticky stuff and once this goes down it's incredible sticky and and waterproof we'll line our two by four that if you look way over there in the back, let me zoom in on there. It's got is that two by four by 16. It's a really long piece. It's already primed. We're waiting for it to dry. And then what we'll do is we'll, again, pocket hole it with our Craig jig. Get it all prepped and ready. We'll take this flashing off. We'll put the, the bitumen on there, the, the waterproof and tar paper. And then we will stick it up there and relocate our flashing back on. Um, and then we'll actually re-roof the house so it comes back over another four inches. So we completely waterproof this side of the, uh, of the patio cover. That way we will be plumb when I start putting up my 4 by 4 posts down here. So if you look, those 4 by 4 posts and the one, the ledger up against the wall, they are all plumb and aligned with each other. But as you look and I get over to the plumbness of this guy, we have to match up there, which on this edge here, this edge of the two by four, is equal to the part that's already cut out. So we'll fabricate it, get it cut, get it in there, and then uh, we'll be ready to set our four by four posts. Okay, so on the patio cover, let me show you what we got. We got that two by four in flat. We moved the, the edge metal, scooted it out three and a half inches. Um, the other thing is, is that before in the videos I was showing you that these posts aren't totally plumb on this line. Uh, the previous owners who built this patio cover um, might have been just using an eyeball and not a level. Um, but I happen to own a level. 
and we leveled it all off. So these posts are still a little bit out of whack, but we're not worried about those. But you see what I had to do on these four by four posts. We had a notch one. I think this one's about two inch notch. That one's an inch and a half notch. This one's an inch notch. And this one happens to be no notch. It fit perfectly on the three and a half inch uh, two by four. So they're all plumb and level, which is nice. So now when we hang our screen door at this opening here, the screen door is gonna go here and adjacent mirror image on the other side. Those two posts have to be perfectly plumb and level with each other. So when the screen door goes up and I stick doorstop up, that you're not going to see an unlevel a doorstop on there. And the screen doors will open and close properly. Okay, so now today, which is our fifth day working on this catio, we're coming up here because you can see where the old roof used to end. And we don't want a straight line of shingles just coming down here. So what we're doing is we're taking out the first row of each one of these shingles on this roof. And then we'll come back in and patch it in properly. We bought a bundle right over there, but we're going to have all this leftover extra that we'll be able to use to patch back in as we go. And we'll just use that to repatch in this roof along with our new stuff over here that we need to cut in for this long. Because we're basically three and a half inches short. So we need to stub all that in. All right, we'll show you once we're done. Okay, so we got the roofing done. And as you can see, we patched it in properly. We went back as far as we could to our next shingle and then pieced it all in so we didn't have a three and a half inch line all the way up and down. So if you look at this edge, it looks pretty darn straight, doesn't it? We're just finishing up the last piece right now and you really can't tell where we patched in the new roof. All right, so we can take care of the roofing part. We're gonna get back down, down in the catio area and start doing the the screen windowsill. <laughs> 